Hello traders and welcome to the Trading Fanatic channel. My name is Elia and today we're gonna have a very practical video where I'm gonna explain a very often asked question which is how do you analyze uh, the markets daily? Like every day, what is the process that you go through? So in this video, I'm gonna show you step by step what I do and how I can analyze my pairs just for 15 minutes, all of them. So if you're excited about this, make sure to slap the subscribe button and if you already did, let's get into the video. All right, so I'm gonna give you a few steps and I would advise you to write them down and to practice them every single day from now on. So the first step uh, is that you have to determine the daily trend the last daily candle when you sit uh, on your pc that day you always have to look at the previous daily candle because it really contains a lot of information and the positioning of the market let me give you an example so just stopping uh, at the dxy what is the daily trend well very simply we can see that it is going down uh, and if you have a little understanding of structure you will see that we had a, a high low a lower high a lower low and right now potentially the positioning of the price is at lower high and you can even uh, have a little bit of a support and resistance levels zones you see price tapped here broke retested retested again and currently is retesting this area again and you just kind of pick up the key levels as well from the daily then we look at the last daily candle so what is the information contained here well price pushed to the upside but failed and printed a nice pin bar so this immediately tells me all right selling pressure so potentially on the four hourly, we will have a push up and a push down later. And just looking at how the price has been uh, behaving for the last four day, we can clearly see that there is a consolidation going on here. And this is how you build a picture from the daily time frame only. So remember trend, the candle, the last daily candle and the positioning of price. Where is price? You can even start uh, dropping some FIPS. For example, this one, you see price is failing to break above the 78.6, which is the last level I permit price to uh, to resist from. So that's the daily. Then we drop down to the four hourly. After, oops. Then we drop down to the four hourly after we got an understanding of what is it that price is doing on the daily. And what we can see is that for real price is in consolidation. So. A few things to do on the four hourly, which uh, is my main time frame. I look for the trends on the four hourly time frame because you see on the daily, uh, the pullback that was happening uh, uh, this year, this, this was my uptrend. So from the four hourly, I was taking longs, but knowing that from the daily price is about to pull back, I seized that opportunity to trade the pullback. So up until now, I was long bias until I saw that on the four hourly price started to consolidate. So next thing to look on is the current price action. So what is price action doing now? Because it's not important what price action did a week ago. It's important what price is doing now. So what we can clearly see is that price was consolidating between support and resistance. Third thing to do, your levels. Where are the levels that price is reacting to? What is potentially forming? The structure, the behavior, what is it doing? So we see here price pushed, pulled back potential uh, higher low to push to the upside. Then price failed to break, failed to break even below, again failed to break above. Well, here you are, consolidation. And what are you waiting for? Just a simple break and retest, which we potentially have now. And we might expect some uh, bearishness on the DXY. Then what you can do if you have a four hourly setup, then you drop to the hourly time frame, which is your intraday time frame. Here you identify the intraday levels and where price action is reacting on the intraday time frame. So for example, you can see here that price printed this little area here during Asian sessions. So price then pulled away from that level and when London opened, it came around here to play with that intraday level. And we saw rejection, we saw a fake out and then price strongly reacted from this level. And that is where you get your setups. Personally, I enter on the 15 minutes, but I'm not going to talk about this in this video. So that is simply, guys, the thought process that I go through every single day. So let's repeat it on another pair. Euro USD, again, guys, same process daily, trend, candle, and positioning. What is the trend? Well, 
very simple it's an uptrend right price creating high higher low higher high higher low higher high potentially i'm looking for a higher low what is the positioning of price well taking into consideration that this was the last higher low price pushed away came back but is still failing to break below so potentially i am bullish bias still on the daily time frame so we got the daily bias zooming in what does the did the last candle uh uh, performed that day well it tried to push to the downside but failed pushed all the way back up and closed like this so what does this tell me well bullish so we saw okay, even if you have a look a little bit on the left indecision nice fake out to the downside buy, buying power coming in continuation of this buying power sellers trying to come in but then pushing the market all the way up and you see how you build a story just from the daily and price action is going to look like that push to the downside then we have a little consolidation then we have that push to the downside this one the fake out then price pushes back up pulls back a little bit and continues up so we have a formation here maybe on the four hourly that will tell us what is going on uh, and what we can see here the push to the downside a little consolidation the fake out to the downside one two three formation the bullish continuation and we can see how the market is starting to reverse Four hourly time frame what is the trend what is the market doing now well i can see that it's pushing up very simple what is the current price action doing well in the morning when you analyze the chart uh, it was here so marking my major areas well i see that the market has reacted from here so this is a potential level that it may react today as well what i wait for is for a break and a retest of this level for the highest uh, confirmation or as the market is doing now a rejection from this level so if this candle closes like this below this zone, then I will drop down to the hourly time frame to see what is the market doing? What is the behavior? And this is how I just go over my charts. Another setup, daily time frame again, Euro JPY. What is the market doing? Well, it's pushing up. Where is it? Well, it's exactly at a higher high. What is the daily candle? Indecision. What does this tell me? Well, it tells me short bias to me personally. Why? We have a key level in here. As you can see, this massive liquidity spot price coming in here, printing the, this high, rejecting all the way down. So this for me will be a little consolidation on the four hourly. That's the, the candle, that is the level and that is the positioning. So after price creates a higher high, we expect a higher low. So even though we're bullish, we should expect a pullback. And you see, as expected, that doji indicates uh, consolidation. So what do we have here? We have the level. This is our resistance here where price is reacting and we have the support here to the downside what are you simply waiting guys for a break to indicate that the sellers are coming in and the retest that is what price action is doing currently the trend is still bullish but you see that the market has pushed too far away without any exhaustion so if you're smart enough you will say all right this should exhaust because it has to come back down to fulfill a fib level you plot your fib levels you wait for the breakout retest and you ride this pair down to the Fibonacci levels and when you get that set up you drop down to the lower time frames to look for an entry last example Aussie USD daily time frame again trend candle positioning what is the market doing well here I can see that the market was trending up very strongly but all of a sudden it really flushed down to the downside indicating a lot of selling pressure still identifying structure I can see that this level was respected so potentially we might have a reversal because after such massive bearish pressure i would expect this market to reverse and you can see the market pulled back here at a key area in the market to create this head and shoulders formation and here is your picture from the daily what is the last candle well here we had a pin bar at this area then price tried to push to the downside but failed and what and if you try to read the psychology of this candle well it tells you that price failed still to make this push to the downside so it's not ready that day and then you drop down to the four hourly what do we have here well we have the push to the upside the reaction from that level and then we have a little pullback so if you're looking at your levels you're gonna say hmm, okay this market printed this push to the downside and created a lower low right now it pulled back to create a lower high a lot of wicks here a lot of opportunities aligning we have the selling pressure right now on the hourly behavior what do we have the push the pullback beautiful opportunity here on the intraday level 
then the market falls back down comes back to retest the level and we get a 15 minute entry here with this beautiful one two three formation which is uh, already gone but you can see you can enter with some uh, very tight stop losses like eight pips and you would have been already about 2R. In this situation, I would have entered with a 6 pip stop loss because I trust the momentum and uh, yeah, I would have been hitting TP by that time. So this is the process, guys. It should be super simple. You can ju just, just do your analysis for a minute. Just remember that uh, process that you have to uh, go to the daily to see where price is and what did it do yesterday. Then you have to drop to the 4 hourly to see where the levels are and what price action is doing now. And for your intraday setups, you can look for your support and resistance on the 4 hourly as well if you base your trades on support and resistance, but I base them on structure. So seeing this market push to the downside, breaking the lows here, creating this lower low, then pulling back for a lower high, then 100% I am looking for shorts. And then to the lower time frames, that is a different story. But if you want me to dive deeper into the lower time frames, make sure to leave me a comment uh, in the comment section down below and I will make sure to create a video. So I really hope this was pretty valuable, although a pretty short video, but I just laid, um, laid out my process and I really hope this will help you out. If it did, make sure to slap the like button and let me know down in the comments what you want to see more. Did you like the video? And uh, that's for me. Thank you for staying up until now. I totally appreciate it. And I hope to see you on my next video.